my viewers um, it's another show on digital real tv on today's show we're going to be discussing about computer and um, its history event connect is actually uh, a program that enables um, people around the world to share and uh, boost their invention experience around the world. It's all about share, boost, share and boost invention experience around the world. That's what it's all about. And today's topic, we will be deliberating on the history of computer and its evolution. We have um, a vital topic today which we're going to be discussing and uh, I would actually love you to uh, relax and uh, share your views. On this platform, people around the world that have uh, business inventions, technological inventions, automobile inventions, inventions that can affect um, the life of the people positively. They can uh, get even uh, 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 support, assistance, because you don't know who might be listening to you and uh, people would want to invest on valuable uh, inventions so in case you have an invention experience uh, you can do me uh, do me fit to send in your comment send in your emails send in your pictures and uh, we're going to check on it and um, deliberate on it as we proceed uh, on this uh, show uh, today we're going to talk about the history of computers, a brief timeline. So, um, vividly, we all know that computer systems didn't just uh, come into place. There must be somebody somewhere who uh, invented the computing system. And uh, we're going to analyze it gradually as we proceed um, from an article which we actually have here from google um, i'm actually letting you know my references um, from google uh, we have here let's say let's analyze it so uh, join me on this section as um, we we keep pushing now the computer was born not for entertainment or email but out of a need to solve a serious number crushing crisis by 1880 the united states population had grown so large that it could more than seven years to tabulate the u.s census results the government sought a faster way to get the job done, giving rise to punch card based computers that took up entire rooms. So as we all know, the mainframe computers were so large that uh, it took a lot of room, a lot of space compared to our modern day computer systems which are even mobile you can you have tablets you have laptops you have desktops and um, it's not longer that uh, that's so huge that it, it, it can be mobile in regards to our modern day uh, computer system so um we have here today we carry more computing computing um, power on our smartphones than was available in these early models. The following brief history of computing is a timeline 
of how computers evolved from their humble beginnings to the machines of today that surf the internet, play games and stream multimedia in addition to crushing numbers. So you could see when the computer systems were actually um, created, it's basically the aim was how to compute census, United States uh, population census, which was on a, uh, 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 on a very uh, um, uh, um, stressful way. So that was how the uh, intent, the intention, or let me say uh, the, the, the drive for making uh, computation um, very, very, very uh, affordable and, uh, and very accessible and simple uh, to be done. And um, we are going to actually deliberate on when the computer system when was it formed and actually when did it start now in 1801 in France Joseph Maria Jacquard invents a loop that uses punched wooden cards to automatically weave weave sorry weave fabric designs early computers would use similar punch cards 1822, English mathematician Charles Garbage conceives of a stream-driven calculating machine that would be able to compute tablets of numbers. The project, the project funded by the English government is a failure more than a century later. However, uh, the world's first computer was actually built. The world's first computer was actually built in 1822 by who? Charles Garbage. Okay, that was actually um, when it was built. But before then, in 1801, uh, someone in France, um, Maria Jack Jacquard, invents a loom that was that uses punched wooden cards to automatically weave fiber designs early computers would use similar punch cards now you can see that uh, the ideology keeps on um, in the minds of people uh, we're gonna give kudos to as many persons who thought of making life better for uh, the world today. Now, in 1890, Herman Hollerith designs a punch card system to calculate the 1880 census, accomplishing the task in just three years and saving the government five million dollars. He established a company that would automat ultimately become IBM. So you could see how IBM came on board. Now, in 1836, Alan Turing presents the no notion of a universal machine, later called the Turing machine, capable of computing anything that is computable. The central concept of the modern computer was based on his ideas. Now, in 1837, J.V. Atensoff, a professor of physics and mathematics at Lower State University, attempts to build the first computer without gears, cams, belts, or shafts. In, 13, in 1939, how Howlett how Packward Packard, Howlett Packard is founded by David Packard and Bill Hewlett in a Palo Alto, California garage, according to the Computer History Museum. 